Chill boy, if you subscribe, comment, like, and share. And if you do subscribe, hit that notification bell in the top right hand corner. So when I release the video, you get a notification and I get a view. Share with Kevin, it helps my channel grow. Also, follow me on Instagram. It's living underscore in underscore LDN. It's all lowercase, so give your boy a follow because we're nearly at 8,000. Come on. Where's my emoji, man? I don't feel the same. Feels like there's just something not there. Feels like I've got to do the angle or something. Well, let's do the camera angle. We all good, people. What's happening? So we're finally here, yeah? It's been a bit of a mad one, isn't it? Sophie, what's going on? Appreciate the love. Mm. Shout out, I've got skinny joints at the moment, people. The old Russian war and that, you know what I'm saying? Costing me money, mate. All right, let me get the angles right, people. All right, so let's get at it, people. These little motherfuckers, eh? These little weirdos, these little fucking begs on YouTube. Proper trying to poke the big boy, huh? The bear, huh? You guys should have left me alone. Now you've got my full attention and you can't stop it until I choose. It ain't up to you no more. You open the gates and that cool. Let's see what happens now. You know what I'm saying? First of all, let's get to this Uncle K little crackhead. He talks so gangster, innit? Living in London, my family, this, that, the other. See, when I message him, there's no talk of, no gangster talk there, is it? It's, oh, living in London, I've got weed, I've got weed, look, weed, weed, poker. You see what it is? It's a troll, people. And because I know it's a troll, I don't entertain it. I let him tell his little fun fantasies about living in London got robbed, living in London's got a tick there, all this other shit. But see, today I woke up and all that shit last night. I woke up and I'm like, bro, this guy's been disrespecting your family, your kids, your dead dad. You know what? Let's apply, apply, apply the pressure on this little prick. Let's just seriously apply the pressure. So Uncle K, you want to meet up any fucking time, bro? Just give me your address because you've had mine for over a year, nearly, And you ain't done nothing with it. So give me your address, bro. I already asked you once. You weren't, what was you doing? Oh, I've got some weed here, Dan. You're in a joint. You fucking idiot. Just because I put on a little smiley face all the time and I try and be fun and I try and entertain people with humour. Don't think I'm an idiot, bro. And I think you've just, you know, just thinking about all the stuff you've done. It's just like, nah, bro, you're not getting away with that. So let's meet up, Uncle K, innit? What are you saying? You want to meet up? Forget all the other shit. Do you want to meet up? Because you're just talking, talking, talking. And where's your family, bro? Round there. Who are they? Where are they? I know you've got some slaggy little sister, Sarah. Sarah O'Neill, innit? Because you're named Andrew O'Neill. Huh? I'm doing my homework, bruv. I'm doing my homework. I'm going to find your people around here, innit? Yeah? And we'll see what they got to say. Only the people you've been saying have been saying shit about me. So your brother and uh, who else? And whatever other fucking dickhead family mate, uh, fucking names you've mentioned. We're going to find them, bro. So, because I've said enough of this guy talking shit and people like fucking believing him, thinking he's anything other than a weirdo, a troll. I could walk out my door now and show you fucking Camden Town, a big bridge saying Camden. People like, you don't need to question my shit because I'm here. Do you know what I'm saying? You got one dickhead with a voice changer and never shows his face. And you got Uncle K, who no one really knows where he lives. He never puts his location up, but he seems to know what's going on in everyone's area. And he's got people that can do this and do that. Yet when you see the fucking video that I posted, he's sitting there with a fucking trampy little table, a Logic TV, and a Jack Jones tracksuit that he was wearing yesterday. It just don't add up, people. These guys are fucking idiots, and that's why they won't get no energy from me. But you know, like, it's just like almost a straw that broke the camel's back, and now I'm just thinking of all the stuff he's done and said about my kids and my dad. I'm like, you know what, bub? Let me go and show this guy, innit? So Uncle K, it's all fun and games, innit? But when I message you to try and actually get at you, to try and finally meet up with you, what do you want to do? You want to be on this, oh, 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 i got some weed. Oh, 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 I might play some poker tonight on some proper childish weird shit. And that's why, people, I can't get, I can't entertain that seriously. Do you understand? I don't want to go back and forth with the guy because he's an idiot. And that's what he wants. And everyone else would just do it. Start making up lies and I've got to squash all this bullshit. But if he really wants to meet up, if you really want to talk and see what it's about, then come. You fucking talk about Camden enough. You've never fucking been here. Imagine having like, oh, my name's Uncle K, I got, your name's Andrew O'Neill. On your Instagram, it says killer. What the fuck? You're about 50 years old and you call yourself killer. What are you killing, bruv? You ain't killing nothing, bruv, but the benefit system, you little tramp. Huh? 
And that other little dickhead you live with, what's his name? Billy or Bob or Billy Bob, whatever the fucking ever little fucking weirdo inbred little cunt is. Don't worry, bro, you keep talking, innit? But now we're going to see, innit? So who are you? Uncle K's brother, who are you, bruv? Fucking pull up, you got my address. Where the fuck are you, bruv? Talking all this shit, you've been doing this, doing that. Where are you? Can't find no one that knows none of these people, bruv. I don't like getting into this energy and start talking all this shit online. I just, it doesn't, you know, it doesn't. But these guys are just pushing the buttons. You know what I'm saying? And like, Uncle K, so imagine this now, yeah? We're going to segue into this other little Trump exposure. So Uncle K was talking about, I'll burn Lazar's kids. I'll do this, I'll do that. I'm coming to Lazar's house on the 30th of April. Remember all that shit, people, yeah? And all of a sudden, I take a little break and my brother's done Lazar and this and that. And then I message him, to this meet up then. Let's give me your brother's number. And he wants to show me weed like I've never seen weed before. You understand? But what type of person would associate with Uncle K? What type of person would think, oh, that's funny. What, you, you burn someone's kids? Ha, ha, ha. I'm just picturing it now. You burning someone's kids. Uncle K, you're so funny. Yeah, yeah, that's proper, Uncle K. Yeah, yeah, I like you, Uncle K. Do you understand? We've got motorsports and buggies, the fat little weirdo. That geezer likes single men. Any guys that want a little fucking couple hundred quid, bruv, he was even donating to me, bruv. Trying to butter me up. We got the fucking Jimmy Savile of YouTube. Fucking motorsports and buggery. Ain't no buggies, straight up buggery, bruv. He's getting all boys. Hey, you wanna come up on my jet ski? Oh, I got a jet ski. Come up, you laddie. You can swim around in, your, in, in a wetsuit, laddie. You fucking weirdo, guys. Who the fuck wants to meet up with YouTubers? I don't even do interviews. Billy Moore from Liverpool was begging me. Hey, lad, will you come on my show? I really love you. I really respect your message. Fuck off. Huh? Sean Atwood's been begging me for number two. I ain't done that. I just don't get out much, but all these other cunts, they get it for like four or five hundred views and they're like, hey, let's all meet up. Let's go swimming in the fucking lock and look for the Loch Ness Monster, laddie. You're all fucking weirdos, mate. Huh? But then when someone comes to your house, you're talking about, I've got kids here, I've got kids here. Bro, the only way anyone watches any of your content is when you're just digging out Decker Heggie or something. But you never talk about yourself. Even Exposure TV, who the fuck is he? And why does he talk like the old pervert from Family Guy? Like, hey guys, I got some sweets here. And he's got some fucking weird lisp in that. Like, I'm telling you people, these guys ain't legit. And they get, it's almost like they get a boner from like having this interaction with other men. They're like living in London, got this, living in London, living in London. Like, it's weird, do you know what I'm saying? Like, who the fuck comes on YouTube and says, what's going on, people? Imagine I'm like that. What's going on, people? Yeah, you can't see my face because it's all bait right now. But I want to talk to you and give you my opinion and tell you about how all these guys are wrong-uns and weirdos. What's your name? Oh, don't worry about my name. Don't worry about it. You can't see my... Uh, like, do you understand? And then that picture comes out. See me? I don't clutch at straws. But I'm looking at those eyes and those eyes were just piercing. And then when the other thing come, I swear to God, it was just like looking at the first picture. I'm like, this motherfucker's him. So I'm a legend. Exposure TV is Gary fucking K's. Huh? And he didn't actually pull the trigger in that Reese Jones shooting. He was the one after the guy pulled the trigger trigger, because those two all, all them dickheads from Liverpool were shooting at each other. Yeah. And and the poor boy got killed. That fucking Gary Kays was the one that helped clear it up. So what I'm saying, people, is Gary Kay's allegedly is Exposure TV. That is the only conclusion I can make. If they look similar, they're hiding their voice. He's from Liverpool. He knows some of the boys in Liverpool, but will not show his face to anyone in the 21st century when clout is real, people. Everyone's trying to get likes and views. Look at all these birds out there with their tits out, doing duck face and all the other shit using filters. You think this geezer don't want to take his mask off and use his real thingy and get all the attention? There's a reason why he can't. Because if you find out what he's done in the past, you will fucking not like him. So to stop that, what he does is he changes his voice and fucking don't show his face. And out to slow-mo, this is what we're going to christen this fucking fat scarcer, Joe Kid, the, the fucking whatever fucking boring cunt podcast they got. He's like, um, 
living in London. And but it's been like 30 seconds and I'm like, is this guy really? Is this guy gonna keep, we're gonna call him slow-mo because the motherfucker looks like Chunk from the Goonies and he just talks in slow motion. I've never seen a Scouser talk in slow motion before. It's mad people. So I'm telling you now, slow-mo, fucking exposure TV, Uncle Bud, they're all fucking weird guys. Did you see Slow Mo's face yesterday after I exposed that on my channel with the fucking, with the two pictures? He jumped off Exposure's TV's fucking thing instantly. Then he done a video earlier trying to say Exposure TV ain't Gary and then he took it down within an instant. Because you know, bro, innit? You know deep down if you put your fucking name on it, yeah, and it is him, you're in trouble. You can't vouch for him, bruv. Vouching for someone, yeah, with a fucking voice changer and ain't showing his boat. Nah, bruv. Nah, 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 nah. That's what we're calling him, slow-mo. The geezer just don't, mate. He's like living in London. Like, what you need to do, la? Not even la, la. Sounds like a fucking sheep. I'm like, this geezer, man. Where did he come from? Who in the right fucking mind told this little mug, yeah, that he should do his own podcast? The geezer's got more cameras than he has views on his fucking videos. Got about 100 cameras everywhere, in every angle. Fuck me, bruv. No one's got time for that shit, bro. No one's got time for that at all. So all these little cuts, Uncle K, Exposure TV, they're all full of shit. And what they do, like I say, Uncle K, no one knows where he lives. Those boys thought by leaking my address, I would be scared. Be like, oh my God, oh my God, I'm rumbled, guys. People know where I live. I better stop making YouTube videos, brother. Everything I say is the truth. Everything I say on this fucking YouTube thing is the truth. So I'm good where I live, bro. But you, wherever the fuck you live, don't even want to tell people. But you want to give your opinion on everyone and everything and talk about what's going on in my ends when you're not even from London. And people on YouTube... I can understand you're not from England. Some of you ain't from England or, or even from London. So you may think that Uncle K is around here in some way. There is no one that knows Uncle K. Uncle K lives, fuck knows. Ask him, let me know, send me the address. You know what I'm saying? But these guys are just myths. Exposure TV. Well, he is, nobody fucking knows. He's got a voice changer and a mask. But he just don't show his face. But all these guys think they can talk about people that are showing their faves, talking about their lives, stuff they've done right, stuff they've done wrong, and trying to pick them apart. And then once they've done that, they talk about their kids. Nah, bruv, they're all fucking wrong ones, bruv. And that's why Exposure TV is so good about talking about kids and that, because he was involved in that Reese Jones shit, bruv, I'm telling you, allegedly. Ah, <sighs> Come on, man. Uncle K in his little shed and that. Do you remember why Uncle K said he come off of YouTube, people? Do you remember? Let's not forget, I've come off YouTube. I've got too many shots. I don't make no money off YouTube. I don't want to be on YouTube. It's all for idiots making videos about each other. If it weren't for Exposure TV putting you on there, because he's got literally nothing to say. Nothing to say. So he's using you to get views, talk shit about people, even though it's all lies. And I hope to God... Those messages were a message Uncle K today and asked him for anything. And he just showed me jars of weed, shows you what he's about. And if anyone now messaging me about Uncle K after seeing those videos, you're an idiot. You're just a troll that's just talking shit. Because that should clearly show you what the guy's on. The guy's on nothing, bro. He's talking shit. And not, I don't want to be on this road shit, be threatening people online, all this other shit. But the guy's taking it too far now. He's just talking, talking, talking. So we'll see what happens, innit? Anyway, let me get in some of your comments, guys. Hope I ain't getting too OTT. It's these fucking Tenzing. I'm drinking two energy drinks before I come on live. I'm ready now, innit? <laughs> hey! Shout out to my Sheffield lot, come on. Lazar. Lazar, bullied Lazar off YouTube. I went off K when I saw him being aggressive with that blonde bird. Bub, the guy is just an idiot. Forget being aggressive with Bub. The guy talks about hurting children. How can you have a problem with someone and be like, I'm gonna do your kids. When I come to address, I'm gonna do your kids. And not just say it to them privately. You're saying it online like it's normal. So can you imagine what he thinks privately, what he doesn't say? 
The guy is an absolute weirdo fruitcake. And did you see the video he done earlier on Exposure TV, people? He's basically bottling it. Like, oh yeah, like I've done videos, I've been disrespectful, but I've said sorry. What the fuck are you talking about, bruv? Don't try and push the stop button now, bruv. We're just getting started, mate. You've been talking shit for the longest. Slow-mo. Slow kid is gathering info and footage for... <laughs> bruv, that guy is slow-mo, bruv. He, he, he's something else. That, listen. Be a doorman. Be a dustman. Be, be so many other things. But a content creator where talking is involved is not your thing. Be a belly dancer. I'm sure you're better off being a belly dancer. Be a fucking... A lookalike for Chunk from the Goonies. I'm sure there'd be people that want to book you for weddings and that. So you can come in with your little Superman t-shirt and that. And be like, hey, you guys. Like, do something like that, bud, man. I'd even fucking have you on. As you know what I'm saying? The Liverpool Goonie guy. But don't try and talk and like all that other shit, bro. Because it's just not you. You know what I'm saying? It's not you, my bro. <clears throat> Remember when he drove to County Babes to see, yeah, I know, bro, man. All this talk of fucking, these guys are donuts, people. They think, yeah, because I took a break and I'm trying to actually do better content and, and get more from my channel, yeah, that, that means anything. I can do this all day, bro. I can pull you boys apart all fucking day because none of you are real. And just a few months ago, Exposure TV was ripping Uncle K. But because fucking Uncle K went against fighting trolls and Exposure TV don't like it fighting trolls, that's it. They just team up. There's no morals. And let me just put this story to bed about Hector Live and all the other shit. Hector Live paid you. I haven't spoke to Hector ever since. I blocked his number on, on Thingy. Because he come out and said, I'm going to be training. He come out hopping from his fucking hospital bed, talking about, I'm going to be training fucking Liam Ditchie for the fight. Now, everyone knows I don't like Liam Ditchie. Everyone knows all the shit. So when I see that, I just thought, clout chaser. I didn't like that. You have got to do kind of a lot to gain my trust, but very little to break it. So when you're talking about, I'm going to train Liam Ditchie to fight fucking Dean Lynch Ward, I'm like, okay, are you? Block. Simple, isn't it? Because what type of mentality is that? You're willing to just jump ship like that. The other day you was calling him out on my behalf and now you're training him. I didn't like that. So I haven't spoke to them boys. I spoke to Hoover today because he must have seen my video last night. But that's it. There ain't no conspiracy with me. I do things when I fucking want to do things. And when I don't want to do things, I sit on my ass and play Xbox and smoke weed, mate. Do you know what I'm saying? But all these fucking guys talking shit. And I'm not mad at these fucking... Don't, I'm not mad at you lot for believing it because you don't know the truth. You know what I'm saying? That Uncle Crackhead can be convincing at times. But I'm telling you, it's all bullshit. Like, everything he says is just bollocks. And that's why you'll see Uncle uh, that Exposure TV laughing. Because he knows it is. And he don't respect Uncle K, really. He's using him because he knows entertainment purposes. Even though he's talking about people's kids, fucking burning fucking kids and basically noncy shit. Do you know what I'm saying? <clears throat> anything that involves you doing anything to kids is just noncy shit. So the only conclusion I can get from this is this fucking Gary Cage and Exposure TV, but they're too similar. And they them eyes and that, man, and that nose bit, bub, I'm telling you people, man. And look, that slow-mo, yeah, a.k.a. Chunk, fucking scass, fucking chunk here yeah? he said that this um reese jones is a touchy subject in liverpool mate let me find out there's any of those gangs still around any of those boys still grafted in liverpool liverpool is soft if any of those boys if all those boys ain't been kicked out booted out the dad included yeah then liverpool is soft mate i don't want to hear nothing about liverpool this liverpool that you lot are shook to talk about the reese jones things that that fucking exposure tv kind of looks like him are you that shook in Liverpool? Is that gang still active down there? Is that what's going on? And it's got you lot scared. You're like, oh, those boys are still active, guys. They won't be happy about this. What do you mean, bruv? You kill a kid, you're basically a nonce, bruv. You don't get no respect from the criminal fraternity. Fuck all them boys. Fuck anything they do. We don't get down like that in London, bruv. You kill a kid, bruv, it's peak for you. Especially if there's a gang of you and a gang of them and kids in the middle fucking playing football or something. Are you not fucking dumb? Are you scarce as dumb down there? 
And then you want to start saying, oh, you can't talk about them because they get pissed. They're all fucking tramps, bruv. The lot of them. You lot don't get me started, mate. Seriously. Fucking hell, I thought Liverpool had moles in that. But you're talking about, you can't talk about child killers. What? You look fucking dumb. Come on. And it's all, it's all at the end of the day, just logical things. But these guys are fucking wrong and trying to cover shit up constantly. Do you know what I'm saying? So they can't even be consistent with, a, with their own messes. They can't even be consistent with what's right and what's wrong because they're covering up lies. But when I see something, I just see it and I go with it if I think it's real. And that exposure TV, the only conclusion I can come to think of why he would want to... Remember, people, he didn't get done for the murder. This guy, Gary Case, if it is allegedly Uncle Fuck, I mean, um, Exposure TV, then he only got seven years for helping cover up the, the tracks afterwards. He wasn't there on the scene. He was just like a gopher. And that's blatantly what this Exposure TV is. A fucking sausage that would help someone cover up the tracks after they just killed a kid. So don't get in my messages talking about, oh, you better watch out because those boys are serious. Those boys are wrong ones, mate. Each and every one of them from both sides. You know what I'm saying? Fuck that, mate. They can't even expose themselves. Exactly that. They talk about exposure TV here. Why do you think he talks like that? He's trying to get you off the track. Imagine how far come on like, what's going on, guys? It's your boy living in London. And you couldn't see my face. You wouldn't have a clue what I fucking look like. But nah, mate, I'm here. Windows open, everything, talking where I've been born and raised. Because I've done what I've done and I am who I am. You know what I'm saying? But you little tramps, you can't even fucking... You can't even look at yourselves in the fucking mirror. That's why you've got to jump on YouTube, talk shit about people. That's when I knew this Decker stuff was bollocks. Because I looked at the people involved and what they were doing. They were just trying to build channels on the, off the back of hate to Decker. With no actual sort of end to it. Do you know what I'm saying? Nothing was pleasing them. They was always saying, oh, give me this. Do this. We want this more. But they're all a bunch of fucking wrong ones, mate. And in the criminal world, none of them, none of them done anything of any sort of, do you know what I'm saying? All fucking dickheads, bro. Literally fans of YouTube that have come on and got a little following off the back of fucking me and a couple other people and lies. It's not even truth. It's pure fucking lies. So now we're exposing Exposure TV. I'm trying to... I'm alleging Exposure TV is Gary fucking K's. If you ain't that geezer, yeah, then expose yourself. Because if not then, bro, are you telling me that you don't want to show yourself even though someone's trying to expose you as a child killer or, or involved in the child's murder? If that's the case, then you've got some serious skeletons to hide. And if people can't see through that and people still watch your shit, because, Bob, it's just weird, man. It, it really is weird. You know what I'm saying? Because it's not even entertaining at this point. When you're talking about hurting kids and you're just lying about situation after situation, how can that be entertainment? You know what I'm saying? But don't worry, guys. I'm here. Back every night, reaction videos about whatever I can find over YouTube and going hard on these little clowns. You know what I'm saying? Because it, where I've just ignored them, it almost has given them power to think like they're doing something. You ain't doing nothing. I've just taken a break. People are just trying to find something else to watch. I'm back now, boys. And I'm going to tear you lot to shreds. Each and every one of you. Fucking donuts. Talking shit. <sighs> yeah, and that Uncle K who threatened to do that other shit about ringing the cat out. Like, all that stuff. Hoover's going to release some voice notes anyway. I think he's released some, but he's going to release some more as well. I don't know. He said something about voice notes and all the other said. Mega mind, come on Rolex. You know the head. Is K keeping Bill as a modern slave? Bruv, I don't know, bruv, man. I think, like, Bill's fucking, there's something wrong with him. And he's like, Uncle K's the carer or something. Or maybe Bill's Uncle K's carer. I don't know. But whatever the situation is, bruv, they're all a bunch of fucking inbred cunts. Hmm? A lot of them. And like, don't you lot remember when he was talking about coming to my house on the 30th, he swears on his kids' eyes and all that. Don't you remember that shit, people? 
And that never happened. And then he come off YouTube saying he don't want to make YouTube videos no more. And then he come back on YouTube saying I got done because I've taken a break. And you're like, like wow, did it happen as well? I mean, Uncle K said there's another lie. I mean, like, I know everything he everything said before, nothing's come of it. But I'm just saying about now. Did, oh, fuck off, man. You know what I mean? So, yeah, I'm just saying, if you're not going to reveal yourself, Exposure TV, even though I'm a legend, like, imagine I've had my face covered this whole time and someone's saying, bruv, you're that noncy guy, you're that bruv. You could just reveal your face, say, look, this is me, now I'm going back to covering up. And then that just shuts me down completely. But see, if you are that person, you can't do none of that. You cannot do none of that. You can fucking deflect it by saying, oh, living in London with spawn. Why the fuck would someone want to pay me to do a vid? But your channel has got 4,000 subscribers, bro. Like, what the fuck are you talking about? The only reason your channel gets any views is because you're talking, you're telling lies about people. Like, over and over again. And you know what they say, innit? The more you repeat a lie, the more it becomes true. But fuck that, people. I'm like the Ministry of Truth around here. We're going to put some fucking respect on people's names. You know what I mean? Go on Exposure TV's video. Watch that Uncle K's video. He's basically shitting himself. Because I said I want his address or any of his family's address around here. His family know what time it is. If, the, if he's even got any family around here. But if he has, they will know. Do you know what I'm saying? So it's all fun and games, but now it's not fun and games no more. I'm going to find your family if you've got any family around here, Uncle K. Trust me on that one, brother. It's not hard. I just ain't been looking, bro. But now I'm looking, innit? Tell you're in bed with Beth, yet you're in bed with Decker. Let me tell you why I'm in Beth, fucking not in bed with Decker, but I'm choosing his side, yeah, over this. Because he has ch um, released his criminal record. Now, every time I go to court, yeah, your solicitor gets a copy of your criminal record and so does the judge. You and your solicitor go over it and you explain certain things of what you've done and what you was thinking of the time and your solicitor writes mitigation. The judge looks at it to decide what sentence you get. And what that piece of paper is, is the one Decker released. And then all these other weirdos that mostly never been in jail or nothing are talking about an app pro and all this other shit that I've never heard of. And when you actually think about it, an app pro, so you release your criminal record to these weirdos and then they say, no, nope, not good enough. We want in it more in depth. The fuck off, mate. Are you having a laugh? Who are you lot, bruv? You lot don't even show your face, but you're talking about someone's criminal record ain't good enough. You lot don't even say, say where you live. I live in Camden, bruv. Everyone knows where the fuck I live. But you lot, who want to expose everyone, but can't even fucking say where that... Bruv, you call yourself Uncle K when your name's Andrew O'Fucking Neil. Do you know what I'm saying? Exposure TV, no one knows your real name. You went on a jet ski, yeah, and then you went to fucking motorsports and most people got fucking piped out from him, yeah? And, like, you had a banner on in pictures. Someone with something really, really fucking dodgy to hide is going to be taking pictures with banaclavas on and making videos. So you want to be online, but you don't want to show your face. You want to be online, but you don't want people to know what you really sound like. You want to be online, but you don't want to talk about yourself or anything you've done in the past so we can have a, a fair and honest judgment on these people. Bro, fuck that. I'll expose these guys then, innit, myself. If that's what it takes. And ain't no fucking criminal gangs in Liverpool that have shot kids can put fear into me, brother. Because you're all scumbags, a lot of you. The lot of you. You know what I'm saying? And it may be a touchy subject in Liverpool, that Reese Jones thing. But it should only be touchy for one sus reason. That Liverpool took an L when their criminal gang started firing when there was kids around playing in the streets. What kind of respectable fucking criminals would do that? What type of human would do that? You see someone you don't like over there and you see kids in the middle and you're like, fuck it, I'm letting off anyway. Fuck all of them, bruv. I wish all of them bad luck and bad health, bruv. Because that Reese Jones weren't no gangbanger. That Reese Jones weren't nothing but an innocent kid playing football. And those little dickheads, yeah, playing gangster, firing a fucking gun from halfway across the fucking road, took his life, mate. So don't tell me that when some woman, yeah, who's covering his fucking voice and face, blatantly has a resemblance to him, and it starts connecting the dots, and I'm just alleging it, and he still won't show his face, but fuck all you lot that say, you know what I mean? A shout out to my real ones that can see through this. 
Yeah, people, it is what it is. You know what I'm saying? Sometimes it's all fun and games, but sometimes I just got to let you lot know that ain't all fun and games and all these fucking dickheads. You know what I mean? And sometimes I just think this is what they want. You see, living in London, he made it right. And see what you're saying about me and see what you said about you and ha, ha, ha. And let's say this now. Nah. Let's say this and let's do this and above. It's all a game to them, isn't it? It's all a game. But you're only doing this because no one knows where you are. Uncle K, a.k.a. Andrew Nil. if you lived in Camden, you wouldn't be on YouTube saying none of this. Trust me. Exposure TV, allegedly, a.k.a. fucking Gary K's. Bro, show us who you really are, bro, and then talk about yourself. Is that too much to do, though? Is that too hard? I'm going to say it is, isn't it? So shout out to my Liverpool lot. And if I'm wrong... One of Gary Kay's people or Gary Kay himself fucking contact me, mate, and let me know. Because at the end of the day, I'm telling you these two people are the fucking same. And no one can tell me otherwise. And that slow-mo, a.k.a. Chunk, Scout Scooney, as soon as I posted those pictures, pictures, he was on live with Exposure TV. He looked at it, look, go watch it back. His face drops as if it can drop anymore because he's already fucking got cellulite all over his fucking cheeks and that. It drops even more and he's like, all right, lads, I'm gone. And it goes. I'm telling you people, these little fuckers have got something to hide. But you know what? Old Mega Mind here, old Big Ed here, old Four Eyes here, we're going to figure it out, mate. We're going to start connecting all the dots. Because apart from Sam Walker, all you scouses are Romans on YouTube. All of you. Ditchy, Dam and G. Fucking Ditchy sent a bird to jail. Dam and G sent Willie Moore to jail. Fucking Exposure TV, a.k.a. fucking Gary Kays. And fucking Slow Mo, aka Chunks, who knows Gary Kay's exposure TV, but don't care because he gets a few views and he wants to jump on the back of his channel. All you lot are tramps, bruv. Trust me, don't respect none of you. And you all use my name for fucking clickbait views and all the other shit. And you always talk about lies and all the other shit. You know? Fuck a lot of you. But you really want my attention. I ain't got nothing to do for another three, four weeks. So ripping you lot to shreds for, for the next three or four weeks, what's on the menu? That's what we're going to do. You know what I mean? So like the video if you ain't people. There's 180 likes, but there's 800 people in here. Let's get up to 1,000 people and like 500 likes. Come on. These guys want the old living in London. Huh? So remember, as I get bigger, more people, oh, what's your shit? Oh, you should do this, you should do that. Stay away from this, stay away from that. So I've almost got more of a responsibility to people. Above, sometimes my nan calls me. She's like, Dan, are you okay? I see a video where you was angry the other day. You don't think I'm like, nan, it was cool. It's just internet stuff, blah, blah, blah. So I'm aware that my audience is bigger. It's not just a fucking couple people, do you know? So I had to stop all the beef and all the time. And plus it gets to you. But these little fuckers really want it. All right, cool. Once people, once you see how I deal with these lot now, yeah? Let that be a lesson to all you other little fuckers that want to get involved, innit? I put this nice, happy, bantery face on because that's what I want to be on camera. But you guys want to talk about my kids hurting my kids, hurting me, coming to my house, hurting my dog, you know? Little dolly chops, you know? Ooh. So all that kind of stuff, yeah? We're not letting it go. We're not letting it go. Yeah. And if you have got family around here, ask them what that means. I'm sure you mostly already have as well. That's why you've done that fucking message, innit? Like, uh, 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 I don't know why, like, like, I've just, like, basically he was begging it. Uncle K basically shit himself. Huh? Now, what's going to happen is Uncle K later is going to watch this, get on live, and talk some shit again. But just remember, people, yeah? When I was in his fucking messages asking for his address, he sent my address, so he knows where I live, yeah? But whatever. But when I'm asking for his address, he bottled it. Did not want none of it, people, yeah? Start showing me bottles of weed, jars of weed. You ain't had the joint. I might play poker because he knows what time it is. So you can say what you want, but your words are hollow, bro. Because every time you've had to prove yourself, you never did. I went down to a press conference halfway around the country with Dougie Joyce and all them lot. None of them like me. And I still came out smelling like roses because I am who I am, bro. And it ain't going to change just because there's whatever the situation is. You understand? Fucking idiots. But what have you done? There's no one. But if I was around people like Marvin that when I was active, who the fuck was you around, bro? Who? You was robbing fucking radio station fucking antennas. And that makes you what? That makes you a joey, bruv. That makes you a donut that would just go up to the block of flats quickly, rob an antenna and run off and mostly get paid 20 quid. 
You're a dickhead and a beg, bruv. Trust me on that one. And we're gonna, we're gonna, we're gonna expose you. All of you fucking idiots. Mm. Yeah, bruv. And what I'm saying is this. Exposure TV. He don't have to fucking do all his content with his mask off and all the other shit. Uh, or, 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 or with his face, showing his face. By the end of the day, bruv, I'm a legend that you was involved in the Reese Jones fucking murder. I'm saying you're Gabby Kays, allegedly. So are you telling me you're still not going to show your face just to prove me wrong? Make me look like an idiot? Make me have to apologise to you? Doing a video? Take down some videos? You're not going to do that? Well then, Liverpool, people, YouTube, why not? Why? I'll let you decide. You know what I'm saying? And I'll also let you decide on why Uncle K basically pantsed it when I'm asking him to send me his fucking address. Like, what do you want me to do with these guys? I'm not getting in no YouTube beef with them where we're going back and forth for the next fucking 10 years. Do you know what I'm saying? Because they've got nothing, no, nothing to offer. I've got other ideas I want to do. Other stuff I want to go down. So I'm trying to be as non-threatening, nice guy as possible on camera. But these guys are really trying to drag me and my brand through the dirt. So all right, boys, let's see how gangster you lot are. Let's see how real you lot are. Because you've been talking a lot now, innit? So you've got a lot of your words to go back on. And a lot of people have seen what you've been saying. So let's see if you can live up to that shit. Or if it's just words on the internet. <clears throat> hey, Hector Live. Apparently I paid you. I know. No one paid me for nothing, bro. Appreciate that, my guy, as well. No one paid me. I've already mentioned it, bro. Like, I did that off my own back. I saw the photo. Someone sent that to me. Yeah? And then when they sent that to me, I'm looking at it. I'm like, oh my God. Now, do you think someone can send me a picture and say, Lazar, say this is that and blah, blah, blah. First of all, yeah, I wouldn't do it. Second of all, I'll be like, is this guy trying to talk shit? Set me up. The fact that money would even come into it would turn me away from it. Do you understand? I don't get motivated by money. At all. Or I'd be doing lives every single night because I always get a donation here or there, but that's not my incentive. That's not even my intention. I don't even say council exposure TV because I don't even believe in council culture, people. I'm just saying, show yourself because you're going at people where their whole lives are all over the internet and it's easy to pick little bits out of it and make it sound a certain way and you're covering up everything about your life so no one can fucking judge you. No, 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 no. That's Nazi behaviour, people. And at the end of the day, not even in the criminal world, just like, would you answer the door to someone that had their face covered up and was talking like this? No, oh, it's me, open the door. Open the door, it's me. You wouldn't do it. So why are you going to watch someone, let them into your house and listen to them and base an opinion on someone else when they're like that and they're lying as well? It's not even like, so they're covering themselves up and they're lying about what they're saying. It's the biggest load of shit ever. Do you, do you get me? And, and uh, this is just common sense. But sometimes when I'm watching YouTube, I feel like the common sense is lacking with some people. So this is just a reminder, people, that it's easy to get on camera and talk shit. Easy. But when I'm talking so much shit about so many people and created such a shitstorm and there was a boxing match with money to be made, I was there. So at the end of the day, people, none of these guys have left their house. None of these guys have got anyone that can vouch for them on the streets or anything like that. So please, man, when they're telling their stories, when they're coming with whatever they're coming with, just like, think about it. You know what I'm saying? Wow, this is like the fifth time he said Lazar's got beat up over a star dog there. Maybe they've got no other content than to lie about Lazar. Not maybe Lazar's been actually beat up this time. No, that is the wrong sort of fucking thing to go down. The obvious thing is this guy is just talking shit for the sake of talking shit. And obviously he likes my stuff. And he wants to be connected to me in some way. So he's like, you know what, how can I connect with this guy? Obviously I'm a cunt. I used to live in Camden for like maybe five minutes when I was like 16. All right, so cool. All right, so right, I'm gonna just make some shit up. And the people, do you know how many haters I've got? My block list on Instagram is about 400 people. Honestly, it took me like 10 minutes to find Uncle K. Long, but like, 
when people, my haters, see someone talking shit about me, they just jump on it. They're like, oh, yeah, what, is that true? Yeah, well, yeah, yeah, I fucking hated that guy anyway. I knew it's full of shit. Without using any sort of critical thinking, but you know? So I'm here just to remind you, lot, what time it really is and what time it really ain't. Andrew O'Neill is not known in London. Full stop. He's not known anywhere. That's why all he's got to do is not fucking show he's above. Nobody knows him, bruv, man. And you know, like... What, what do I say to it? I know he's convincing, though. It can, be, it can be convincing when he's just talking all this shit. And I'm not responding. You're thinking, oh, is this guy serious? Well, I live in London. He said that. He normally he responds to people and all the other shit. No, these guys are just dickheads and begs. And I can see what their plan is a mile away. It's just so obvious. Imagine when someone was lying. Do you remember when Uncle K was saying I'm not from Camden? Who the fuck remembers that? Living in London's not from Camden. He's 40 years old. I used to go to school with him. No, we never. I'm 39 now. When you were saying I was 40, I was 38. D do we forget this, people? Do I have to continually prove this bullshit? I can't critically think for all of you, the whole of YouTube, a whole fucking 20,000 people. You lot have to help me out. I'd be like, this guy's full of shit, bruv. I was showing my passport at one stage. Remember the videos? Go back where I'm showing my passport and I'm saying there is my age. What did people say then? That's a fake passport. And I'm like, really? The, the guy who's not even putting his location on videos. No one knows there's the tip above. You, did you get in that? Did you get how stupid it is? And why I just said, you know what? I ain't getting involved with them. I'm not going to give them what they want. But they've continually, continually done it till they've got a little bit of a following. And I'm like, you know what? Let's have some fun. Let me kick them till they stop fucking moving. Which I might have done to one of Andrew O'Neill's family members. But I can't say too much about that. But I'm going to find out anyway. Trust me, bro. I'm going to find out. And if I find out that your family, who I think it is, bro, it's peak for you and them. And I've already spoke to the geezer before. And he was basically crying. It's not me. It's like, oh, I know the geezer from back in the day. It's definitely not me. Or nothing to do with my family. But let me fucking find out them not lying. <sighs> let me read some of these. I just... No, I went to Holloway Boys, bro. Anyone that went to Holloway Boys in fucking my year would have known that. And anyone that does, you know, do you know what I'm saying? The guy's a fucking fruitcake, bro. The guy's a fucking fan, a fruitcake, a stan, whatever you want to call it. And the guy just wants to continually lie because some of you lot find it funny. But come on, man. Surely you think you've got things better to do than listen to bullshit. I've disproved him so many times, but I'm leaving those fucking voice notes up. So anyone that ever asked me about Uncle K, just go watch that video where I stick it on him and he crumbles. Because that's who he is. And if I went to his house masked up and went through his door with a few people, I would be in jail for the next 10 to 15 years. And Uncle K would still be talking shit about, oh, I would have done this if I didn't call the police and get him nicked and hid in the cupboard. Do you know what I'm saying? So I'm not risking my freedom. I'm not putting that in on the line. I'm not telling people to go crash just on the sake of some guys talking shit about me on YouTube. But trust me, bro, there's people you don't know. I've got fucking a big family. And you've been talking about my dead dad. That's some of my people's, my family member's favourite uncle. Like, like, you don't know what you're doing. And I, <laughs> you just don't get it. And you don't even know what these lot look like. And they're all younger than me and they don't give a fuck. So you just... Continue doing what you're doing, thinking you're getting away with all this shit. But when fucking something happens to you, bruv, just remember, you're bringing everything on yourself. And if you've got any family, them around there as well. Because you keep talking about them, them doing me, innit? Cool, innit? Let me catch your little brother on camera, innit? If you've got a little brother on there, let me find a little rant, cunt. Trust me, it's going to be good content. So Uncle K's brother, if you're in Camden, bro, I just know I'm actively looking for you, innit? Actively looking for you. Uh, nobody runs Camden, bro. They're exactly that. No one runs Camden. You can't run Camden. Camden's killing each other. The whole of Camden's just beefing. Parts are just beefing each other. And you've seen all the rap videos. 
Just type it in, Camden Gang War, bruv. It's all on YouTube, mate. So remember this, people, and remember this well. You can go and watch Exposure TV. You can go and watch all that other shit, but you don't know who you're listening to. You don't know what that person's done and why he's so trying so hard to hide his identity from everyone, but want to have a say on everyone else's fucking shit. You know what I mean? <laughs> it's mad when you think about it, people, because what do they actually say? What are they coming with? They ain't coming with no facts, no proof, no nothing, no video footage, no voice notes. It's just pure lies. How fun would it be to just make up lies every day on YouTube? That's why they do it. They're just there like, yeah, blah, blah, blah. Yeah, then this happened. Yeah, then that happened. I'll do this if that happened. And yet my family did this to that. And yeah, and this happened and that. But it's all, it's like they're playing gangster in their head. These grown men that were never natting on the roads that can see these ex-criminals that used to be sat in, I'd be like, oh, you know what? We can fuck with them now. Now they've changed their life around and they're trying to do this positive thing. We can just talk shit. They're not going to do nothing. You see what he says. He's trying to change his life and all the other stuff. That's how they get at it, bruv. If they was all on the roads out here active, bruv, no one's saying none of this shit. And I don't even like it being a macho bravado thing, like I'm harder than you, blah, blah, blah. But when it's pure lies, when I can't even address, do you know, like, it's just boring. It's dumb. So hopefully this puts it to bed. Exposure TV, I don't give a fuck what you say. Unless you can show your face, yeah, and talk properly in the camera, no one gives a fuck. Do you know what I'm saying? And Uncle K, bro, let's link up, innit? Don't say, yeah, 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 all this stuff just bruv. Fucking message me off another account because I blocked your Uncle K account because I can't take all your spam messages of dumb weed shit. You know what I'm saying? But, bruv, get at me, innit? Tell your fucking brother to pull up, huh? He's got my address, you got my address. Where's your fucking gangster brother, mate? Trust me, <laughs> we're gonna find him anyway. And I guarantee you he's gonna be in a Jack Jones tracksuit, shaking, nearly in tears, saying, Lazar, my brother's got mental health, I swear, I ain't got nothing to do with this, I swear. Me and my family, just leave us alone, please. Like, trust me, it's gonna be embarrassing. And I am brother, this ain't me being a bully, this is me trying to avoid this. But you put this on your family and yourself, innit? It's so a cool. Exposure TV needs to show the web history the nonce. <laughs> hey, bruv, all these guys are fucking Fruit Loops, mate. By the end of the day, people, we'll have fun with it. We'll just keep going back and forth for a bit. And remember, whatever I talk about, whatever I come with is facts. If I'm right on something, I stand on it. If I'm wrong, I'll always backtrack. I'm not like these other guys that just come out of another lie and another bullshit thing. So you're never actually addressing what you said. You're just continually putting more lies on top of the pile so you can't even get to the bottom of what's true and what's not. I ain't on that shit. We're going to specifically, specifically keep pinpointing these simple things. Show your face. Um, oh, exposure TV, all you've got to do is show your face on camera. Exposure, I mean, Uncle K, you're such a gangster and all that. Fucking give me your address. What's the problem? What's, why do you need to go on a two hour live for that? Huh? Is it because you have no intention of sharing your face? Is it because you have no intention of meeting up, but you have all the intentions of making videos about people trying to fucking talk shit? You know? But it is what it is, people. Yeah, bruv, get on it. Don't let this guy, you know what I'm saying? And Liverpool, don't you want to know? Because some of these scouts on it they are not making Liverpool look good at all. All the scouts I've encountered, yeah, have been weirdos on this YouTube thing. Or grasses. Or just, you know, just like proper snaky, slippery little weirdos. Ain't none of them been proper yet. Name me one proper scouts that's been on YouTube yet. Name me one. Come on, I'll wait. None. So people, at the end of the day, Liverpool, I'm talking to you now. Who the fuck is Exposure TV? Is he really this little wrong in Gary Kay's? Let's find out, innit? And if Uncle Kay's being stingy with the address, someone send me his address, mate. Find out where that little scumbag lives. Anyway, people, it's your boy living in London. I hope you enjoyed this one. It wasn't going to be too long. I just wanted it to get straight to the point. 
and I'm sure there's going to be something coming from this. You know what I mean? Anyway, like, subscribe, comment, share. I'll see you tomorrow. And maybe I'll even do a video later, depending on if there's any content or if anything comes up. Anyway, so boy, I live in London. I'll chat to you in a bit. I'm back on smoke, active, drinking energy drinks like they're fucking God knows what. Peace.